Hello, I am Sean Mendes. Thank you for watching the video on Art History Plus that gives you an insightful and perceptive glimpse of the artist's work and mind. If you enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe to the Art History Plus channel. Thank you. I'm sorry, we can't go in. We can only zoom in. This is an optical illusion, but it's also a digital image taken from a mobile. But it's also a real human handmade painting. So which of the three is it? An illusion, an unreal image or a document? Look, everything in this painting is transparent. A lot is being said, shown and intended. This is Restaurant by Sean Mendes. A restaurant defined as a place where people pay to sit and eat meals that are cooked and served. This painting fits this definition, but it also goes beyond this. It's not a mere landscape of a multi-cuisine restaurant. Instead, it's a story of a restaurant that only lets a few people come in and the others are outside with you, the viewer. Hey look, there's a coffee menu. A newspaper while are drinking, cutting chai. Oh, is that filter coffee? There's a cake counter and a kid blowing bubbles. A family placing the order. Architects discussing urban spaces. A guy is eating a pizza while another guy is cleaning a manhole. A little kid with his grandpa and a balloon man. All in the same frame. At the same time. You remember the character Jack from Titanic having access to all three levels of the ship. Only he has the full picture. And so do you. This is something like that. The artist Sean Mendes told me that he draws both parts of the story. The reflection on the glass facade becomes the demarcation point, draws the reality of classes, the transparent social structure of society. He told me he's influenced by the American photographer Richard Calver. Sean brings a story of contrasting worlds alive. Rich and poor. Us and them. Story of people who are in the restaurant and those who are literally outdoors. The artwork projects one on top of the other. An inside-outside view. Classic. A possible bridge between the real and imagined. It's obvious, right? Class difference is the overarching theme of the work. Like in Indian miniature paintings, the artist opens the layer one by one by employing accurate symbolism and storytelling. And the real drama is in the human mind. Enter from anywhere. Exit as you wish. What I found interesting about the painting is the central character, the one with the mobile camera. Is he the artist himself? No, Sean told me no. Then who is it? Some random guy. Could be you. But what is important here is that the mobile has captured the overlaying dichotomy far too neutrally. It's basically an optical illusion captured as a digital image by human intervention. Here the artwork is presented as an observation. That's it. Look at the detail, man. Choose a cake. Go ahead, only from the outside though. And the cheese pastry is painted with such detail that you feel like taking a bite, don't you? I obviously asked Sean, how much time did you invest in painting this? He humbly answered, three months, day and night. Isn't that awesome? You see, he painted everything, some business talk, family gatherings, lonely suppers and a few couples. Very normal, right? Just one observation though, that the people inside are not looking out and the people outside don't look in. It's only the central character who's forcing us to see, via the artist, obviously. Sean's painting reminds me of the Indian miniatures, where various ateliers were patronized by the rulers. But here Sean is alone, doing the same thing as an independent artist in 2020. Last question. What phone is that? How many megapixels is that mobile camera? 
is that the iPhone 12? No. It's a damn good image. Don't you think? Please subscribe to Art History Plus. Please like, comment and share this video. And please support us via patreon.com. Thank you.